uh, hi i came across this one particular bible passage so i thought i will just share it with you uh, this is from the book of isaiah chapter 31 isaiah chapter 31 and uh, i'm going to read it from my version that i follow regularly new american standard bible nasb so uh this talks about help not in egypt but not in god oh, let's read from uh, chapter 31 and verse 1 i think uh, this is something that i'm sure uh, even as we even as i read it i'm sure god will speak to speak to you uh, what to those who go down to egypt for help and rely on horses this the background of this passage is when assyria attacked when assyria was attacking um the the people of god and uh, this is what uh, god had to tell through this prophet to his people so isaiah chapter 31 and verse 1 starts like this woe to those who go down to egypt for help and rely on horses and trust in chariots because they are many you know they were trusting in horses you know they went to you they went down to egypt you know uh, they saw they they saw the beauty of the horses they saw the huge number of the chariots they saw the horsemen and then horsemen because they were very strong no they were trusting in majority they were trusting in the strength of the egyptian army and verse 31 ends like this but they do not look to the holy one of israel nor seek the lord you know when when we face an attack when when trouble when trouble arises against us when people fight against us uh, sometimes you know we are like these uh, like these israelites go to those they went down to egypt relying on the egyptian horses rel- trusting the chariots because there were many of them you know we may trust in majority and uh, the, they trusted in horsemen because they looked strong but they do not look up to the lord and uh, this is what god says when you look at verse number 3 when you look at verse number 3 this is what god says now the egyptians are men and not god now god says no i am the only god we don't trust me but you trust in mere men it says like this now the egyptians are men and not god their horses are flesh and not spirit in other words god is asking us to trust him to trust in his spirit you know it says uh, many times you know we trust man we trust we we trust the as verse one says you know we trust the majority we trust the we trust when it is numerous we trust the strength we trust on the beauty we trust on the ma- on on the on the f- uh, strength of the flesh the ability of the flesh the talent the skill of the flesh and uh, but here is what god says in verse 3 it says now the egyptians are many are men and not god their horses are flesh that means flesh is will flesh will surely fail but the spirit will never fail but their on their horses are flesh and not spirit and god says like this so the hand, so the lord will stretch out his hand and he who helps will stumble and he who is helped will fall and all of them will come to an end together that means the one who helps also will stumble the one who is receiving that help also will fall uh you know when we go when we go and trust man instead of god this is what will happen it's, it's very uh, because israel went and sought the help of egypt the trouble was not just to israel but also to egypt so both the egyptians also that is they will stumble the egyptians will stumble and israel will fall and now this is the amazing thing verse 4 verse 4 says this for thus says the lord to me he says as the lion or the young lion growls over his prey against which a band of shepherds is called out and he will not be terrified at their voice nor disturbed at their noise so will the lord of hosts come down to wage war on mount zion and on its hill now this is something you know which very amazing you know your god compares himself to a lion and he compares the enemies to a band of shepherds you know, usually usually we see uh, god as a shepherd but there it is very contrary it's like it's like god uh, is projecting himself as a lion as on a positive role and he is comparing the shepherds to a negative role it says it says like this you know when we read the other verse you no know, it's more clearer actually uh, the, the, actually the 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 content the, the content of the verse is this 
you know when a lion is trying to hunt a prey even if the shepherds are going to make noise they are trying to do all sorts of noise they shout the lion is not going to be terrified because of the sound of the shepherd it will come and fight and it will and it will take its prey so this is how god gives a comparison and says just like how a lion will never be terrified with the noise of the shepherds and will come and have its prey so will the lord of hosts come down to wage war on mount zion on its hill you know today god is going to fight you know when people you know when people try to do everything when people try to shout you know it doesn't it doesn't really um, it doesn't re- it doesn't really fear it doesn't really give a it doesn't make god fear actually god is not god is not scared by the by the noise of men and uh, and then he says he'll come and fight and wage wage his war and verse 5 he concludes like this like flying birds so the lord of hosts will protect you know another version says the lord will hover upon jerusalem and he will protect jerusalem he will protect it he will defend it he will deliver it he will pass over it and he will rescue it another another version says he will preserve it he will preserve it you know today today when you face troubles when you face when you, when when you when you face obstacles when you, when you, when we face problems let's not go down to egypt let's not go down to egypt but let us trust god because god will come and fight for his people like a lion not being scared of the noise that the shepherds make and he he will also come and protect like a bird like a bird like an, an a particular version says like an eagle he will come and hover upon jerusalem and he will protect it and deliver it and he will preserve it and he will rescue it he will pass over it and rescue it today whatever whatever you might be going through you know though it's though things may be things may be looking tough let's not go down to egypt let's not go down to egypt because egyptians are just men and not god uh, yeah, men are just flesh and not spirit he who helps will stumble he who is helped will fall but the lord who is compared to a lion and the lord who is compared to a bird he will come he will not just come and fight as per verse 4 but he will also come and protect us per verse 5 so in every situation in every situation let us trust god let us depend on him and may god preserve us and may god guide us amen amen